Okay. All right. Praise the Lord. So glad to see you. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday and enjoyed your time in the Lord. Reverend Raynard and I are here doing what we do in our Monday study in preparation for our gathering with you. And we were going over some, um, some ideas. So um, I'm going to let Reverend Ray and I set it up for us, and then I'll, I'll pull up our, our letter, because we're going to um, work from the letter that we sent you last week. All right. Go ahead, Reverend Ray. Uh, yes. Well, again, uh, uh, Pastor Omaya and, uh, and I are missing you already. Uh, we just want to uh, make sure that we uh, keep ourselves focused, even in our, uh, our little break time. <clears throat> and uh, as we were looking at the last letter that was sent out, uh, Pastor Omar has uh, identified uh, three different areas or three different things that we really wanted to focus on. We want to take this time uh, after we've went through these first three chapters uh, and um, try to, uh, to, to, to milk it. To, to squeeze everything out yeah. and it's so much in it and what's in it is so crucial because if we remember um, if we remember John's mission statement and in John 20 verse 30 and 31 we know that he is talking about his great desire his mission here is to uh, that we would uh, receive life and we know that we receive life simply by believing uh, that Jesus is the Christ and the Son of God. Yeah. That is uh, Paul's major focus here. And, and it's ours. As we read it, we read it from that perspective because that's the perspective that the author is writing it from. And, and as so as we looked in ch uh, uh, chapters one through three in the book of John, <clears throat> uh, we recognize that there were three uh, major ideas that we wanted to really make sure that we had a good grip on because uh, our life, life as John is talking about it, actually depends on us having a good grip on these areas and these things. We, first of all, we uh, talked about the the importance and the issue that uh, the that the word is God. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. That the word is God. The word is God. The word is Jesus. The word is. And, and in, in verse four, it let us know that uh, in that in that word was was life. And that life uh, was the light of men. We, we need uh, something to uh, make us see what we can't see. Uh, I, and that is that we need Jesus. And that is that that there is something here for us to uh, be doing in our lives that, uh, and it's allowing the Holy Spirit to work in our lives. Uh, I was talking, Pastor Omar and I, we were talking about <clears throat> Pastor JP's message on last Sunday and how it uh, directly lined up with our uh, John study that we've done to this point. And uh, I would just uh, encourage us to listen to that message again, because uh, of, if anybody should really hear it, we should hear it, because that's exactly where we were studying. But uh, the three things that Pastor had mentioned was not one was the word, the importance of the word, the necessity of the word of God. We, we want to get that straight in our mind, the word of God. It was that word that God, the father decided to send. He sent the word, that word became flesh uh, and dwelt among us, we got that. Uh, but listen to this, there can be no salvation without the word because scripture says faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. So the, 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 when God sends the word, he recognizes that that word is the only thing that could turn this around. He sent the word. Number two, we dealt with the value, the insight, and the access into the kingdom of God. In verse three, we were dealing with the Nicodemus and Jesus interaction and, 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 and that born again experience that John was trying to reveal in this uh, in this passage, uh, and uh, and he talks about being born again, 
but he 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 also talks about it in verse three and verse five. He talks about uh, entering. He talks about seeing and entering the kingdom. Yes, the, the kingdom. The kingdom is a, a aside from the word of God as crucial in our uh, 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 salvation. Uh, and, and, and then the kingdom is crucial in our walking in this word, yes. uh, in this earth realm. It, our perspective of the kingdom will ha have a lot to do with how our walk is mm -hmm. in this earth. Um, so many of us are waiting to get on the other side. That's where everything is in our mind. Everything, the victory is on the other side. So we're waiting to go home so we can uh, have, uh, he says, uh, uh, eyes have not seen nor have ear heard what God has in store. And so we say on the other side, we'll get what God has in store. But uh, what God has in store, a lot of it is right here at our access right now. Learning how to step into kingdom living kingdom culture mm -hmm. or if anybody remembers when we were talking about life zoe life yes. zoe life ladies and gentlemen is simply the life of god zoe life is simply how god is living his life mm -hmm. god is living his life in 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 in, in victory he's uh, obeying all the rules. He set all the rules. God is lined up with the rules. And, and, and God is always in line and in step. He's always walking a straight path. Yeah. So, so he has the, the results of walking a straight path is a Zoe life, mm -hmm. a perfected life. And that's what God wants us to do. We had to be trained, changed and transformed to yeah. the degree that we can live now a kingdom culture. Right. The kingdom culture. To be in the kingdom, you have to be able to fit into the culture. Yes. Uh, if we remember in, in the fall of man, Adam and Eve were ejected from the garden simply because they couldn't fit into the culture. Right. They they been disobedient, and th then that can't uh, remain in the kingdom. So we we hear. Yeah. Reverend Ray, the kingdom culture is a, is a culture of obedience. You, you God give you one thing, don't eat from the tree, and we do it. We, so we, we take our lead and we take our instruction from God. That's kingdom culture, obedience to the word of God. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, and, and, I, I, and as we were talking earlier, I, I think one of the things uh, when we talk about the body of Christ, because what we're talking about the body of Christ, we're not talking about the world right now. They're not responsible. There's nothing they can do about what's going on. We are put here to take dominion. Oh, this, we have to begin to be responsible and accountable for anything that goes on here. We yeah. need to step up as good leaders and say, hey, it happened on my watch. If this is in my this is on my turf. Uh, and if it happened here, I have to take accountability for it. This is what Christians do, I believe. And so so we we have to step up and say, now we have to re remember our prayer. Our prayer is that Lord, let your kingdom come in this earth. See, the kingdom is not going to just come in this earth. We have to pull the kingdom in. Yeah. We pull the kingdom in by changing our lives as we're transformed we begin to bring things in as we begin to demonstrate christ living as we begin to operate like him the world begins to see us and you remember when we were studying about the snake when the snake was lifted up mm -hmm. then it people had they lived <laughs> and, and so as we're moving around here and we're living christian lives we're living this christian culture the world is watching us yeah. and they can get life from watching us. And so it's important. Kingdom living is important. God desires us to do it here, not on the other side. And as we move into kingdom living and kingdom culture and we operate in God's, under God's word, our lives begin to change. Yeah. Our power begins to get greater. Yeah. We have yeah. more ability to do our job, which is taking dominion. Uh, one of the things that I see is that in the midst of this COVID season, I've, it, I've seen uh, uh, it just it just it doesn't see I don't see the boldness. 
Mm. I don't I don't see us stepping up like mm. we used to and just talking it down. God, God I, I come against COVID right now. Yeah. I, I curse it at the root. Uh, uh, I, 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 I proclaim that it, it, it will disappear. Mm. It, it will be eradicated. It will be eliminated. Boldness, the boldness to be able to, and all these things come from having the word in us, uh, the spirit of God being able to transform our lives and us being able to move into kingdom culture and bring that kingdom into this earth and take dominion over all this foolishness that's going on. This is the issue of the time that we're in, I believe. Yes, yes. And, uh, and I <clears throat> agree with you wholeheartedly. And what we what we were thinking about was, we would like you, you to interact with this material. What is it saying to you? What, what mm -hmm. insights do you get from having studied with us, reading this, this uh, summary, summary of John chapter one, two, and three? And we want you to talk about it from your perspective. As a as a um, as a believer, and as a um, one who has already received the kingdom, we know that you have. I think you saw the letter. We have over a thousand years of of, um, of wisdom in our group. So let us put that to these to these concepts, and let's see where God will take us. All right. Anything else you want to say about that, Reverend Ray? Uh, yes. One other thing. You have an arrow right there on this line. It says the goal of our transformation. Yes. And that is something that we need to acknowledge. Uh, our goal is to tr be transformed, church, body of Christ. We're here to be changed. And, and, and so uh, uh, it says the goal of our transformation is the anchoring of God's character. If there's anything that's lacking in this earth realm today, it seems to be character. Mm -hmm. You know, no one can tell the truth. No one believes anyone. No one trusts anyone. All of these yeah. things have to do with the bankruptcy of character. Yeah. And so these are the things that we're talking about, the kingdom of God, the spirit who changes us, the word of God who comes in and alerts us and lets us know. All of these things are important. And the question is, how does it fit into my personal life? Yeah. How does it fit into my personal life? How does the word of God, the spirit of God and the kingdom of God fit into your life? Yeah. What? part has it played in your life that that's what i'd like to know that's what we are kind of looking to to pull out yes and so here's here's what we encourage you to do um if you can see my screen all you have to do is take your arrow and point it to this backward arrow right here see this one right here you can do it in fact i'll encourage you to do it to all of us let's 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 have a group together click on this one right here and and then once you click on it it's going to give you the opportunity to um let me show you again what that says. Here's how you can just put a letter and it come, it'll come to us directly. And we all know what, that you came out. And, uh, and that's where we would like for you to put your response. And then we'll share it with other people. You'll be sharing it when you actually, you'll be sharing it when you actually respond back to that, uh, that email. Well, well, that's just wonderful. So we look forward to seeing you again. You have that, do you have that? What do you need, Doc? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just asking because we were going to close. I just if it's something I, I didn't know if I wanted to know if you could show that you could show where we uh, return the information. Yes, we respond. Right, I want to respond, make sure that we saw that. You have your email right here. Do you have your email? When you pick up your email, this is the actual email, no, it's, it's right? Not showing. That's it's not one. showing. Oh, okay, thank you. Appreciate you sharing me that. All right, let's get this going here again. Share screen. And we go here. Yes. All right. So when you get your email, this is my email here. You can just go down here and look for the email. It's going to be something. It's going to say here, Pastor Omar. P.O. on mine. It says Pastor Omar. Then once you click on it, it opens up fully. So at the top of your, at the top of this, this letter, you have two arrows, three arrows actually. You can send this to somebody. You say, oh, this is good. I want to send this to somebody. You use this one. You send, you click on it, and then it sets you up to write a, a note. Let me see. Let me do like this. I'll show you like what I mean. I do it here and I say to, uh, I want to send it to my wife. Send it to my wife. All right. Just simple. And then I press the arrow here. Send. Boom. Now that letter went all the way to my wife. Then what I want you to do for us, uh, we're going to do it like this. 
I'm going to open it up again. The letter I have here, which, which is right here. Boom. Now, this time I want to respond to the group. Respond to the group. And let me see. It might, I don't know. It might give you all. I'm not sure. But at least one of these two arrows will do it. Let's try this one. I was thinking about, you know, this is going to go back to group final. But any one of those will work. So I can say, uh, um, I hit. Here are some of my thoughts. Uh, the lesson summary, right? Boom. And then you put up whatever you want to put in here. You just type it in there. And then you do the same thing you did before. Just press this button right here. Boom. Send it. And then go out to whoever's going to go out. So that's what we like for you to do. Read through this here. Make sure you read through the whole thing, but especially this section right here, where it starts up in the first three chapters. You got your memory verse here. All you have to do is click on this blue line and your memory verse will pop up for you so you can see it. And then um, and then you just interact with this here. And as you know, my wife is doing much better. She's in recovery. I thank you for all your prayers. You guys really, really blessed us. And uh, we plan to come back on February the 8th. Until then, remember to keep your hands clean and your heart pure. You cannot go wrong with that. God bless you, Pastor Omar, Rem Renard, and we out. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.